13 years after his death, Yahadwa's wife makes shocking confession. One tenable of the danger ahead of May 29. My dear listeners, I greet you this very uh, evening. This is the Lord TV. If you can remember vividly, I gave you people an update of uh, Yahadwa's wife advice to uh, Bola Ahmed Tenable's wife. Um, this very morning um, advising her of uh, of how she must act and what she must do to keep her husband safe and she said she regretted uh, not doing all of those things when the husband became president of Nigeria well um, speaking on this very um, content of um, warning to of the danger ahead of him, Yadwa's wife have taken a swift step and a very quick move to still warn um, Tunubu also aside from the warning he issued to um, Oluremi Tunubu. You'll be shocked to hear this and um, to know that Yadwa's wife could say something of this nature. <laughs> Just as they say, the rich also cry. Don't be smart in my people when I will fear fear. Let's check the content by your listening listeners. This is evening news. The former president Umar Musa Yadwa widow Ajia Torai has revealed her greatest regret about her husband's death as she declared that he had a simple devout of corruption life on the 13th anniversary of his passing. As seen yesterday in Kaduna by Sunday Vanguard, Turai said during an interview with the BBC Hausa service. Turai went on to claim that her spouse was straightforward and unaffected by materialistic things. She gave example of how Yadwa may use a watch repeatedly until the strap splits in half. Emphasizing that he would go on doing so if she didn't catch him. She continued saying that her husband was not corrupt, did not abuse women, did not drink, and did not pursue them. She also said that he was a very straightforward person who placed little value on material possession. She said that while Allah had predestined, he would hold a position of leadership he didn't have a high regard for it the former first lady has advised Ola Ahmed to know to uphold that very virtue saying that that is the only way out to be saved though the husband died trying to be something of such but it's still not late for someone else to practice such the former first lady said that she still think about her late husband on a daily basis. I think about him every day. Every day seems like any other day. The only difference is that today people gather to pray for him, eulogize him, and I am happy. I thank God. As to write thoughts back on that, on their last minute together, the late, late president she regretted leaving him to break her fast i was fasting on that day in fact i had been fasting non-stop from when he took ill and even after he died i did not stop so when it was time for me to break my fast he was lying down looking at me wow what a very what a touching story um to be frank Musa Yadwa came in with a very good um, motive and intention for Nigeria. In fact, he is the man that brought about the seven point agenda. But quite unfortunate that um, this seven point agenda, he wasn't alive to even achieve only one. Because why? Because of sudden death. So this point, seven point agenda, I tell you that since Yadwa left, nobody has been able to carry it on or to move on with it, which is very bad. 
and it's a very big slap and a disappointment to this very country i tell you nigerian nigerian leaders are very very greedy self-centered and stingy to make sure that that very step or that very virtue that Musa Yadwa left none of them were able to carry it on and it's quite a disappointment the person that succeeded him well, that is uh, good luck Jonathan though he has that intention but um, those in power couldn't allow him to do that you can see that that is uh, what the the leaders in Asurok are capable of doing it's quite a disappointment anyway all right my people uh you've heard it already that is just the humble truth and nothing but the truth let's quickly hear from you and know what's your own opinion what's your own advice and what you think of what has just been revealed to us this very evening concerning uh, late Musa Yadwa's regret and, and the advice he has given to Bola Ahmed Tunubu and what is ahead of him in May 29. <laughs> let's quickly hear from you and let's know what to point on this maybe. Don't forget to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.